Hi, welcome to our channel, The Food Interval. Speaking of nutrients, the best foods for pregnancy are high in vitamins and minerals that play a key role in supporting your baby's growth and development. In this series, we are going to discuss on the best and worst foods for pregnant women. During pregnancy, calories should come from a balanced diet of protein, fruits, vegetables and whole grains. Sweets and fats should be kept to a minimum. A healthy, well-balanced diet can also help to reduce some pregnancy symptoms, such as nausea and constipation. Let's start with 18 best foods for pregnant women. Number 1. Lean meat. The amino acids in protein are the building blocks of every cell in both your body and your baby's. High-protein foods also keep your hunger at bay by stabilizing your blood sugar, which is why you should aim for at least three servings of protein per day. That makes lean meat one of the best foods to eat during pregnancy. In addition to being protein-packed, it's also high in iron, critical to help your baby develop his red blood cell supply and support yours, too. Iron also plays a role in baby's brain development. Number 2. Lentils whether you're a meat eater or not, this vegetarian protein source deserves a place on your plate. A cup of cooked lentils packs around 17 grams of protein along with about 7 milligrams of iron. Lentils are also rich in the B vitamin folate, which is vital to forming your baby's brain and nervous system and has a powerful protective effect against neural tube defects like spina bifida, a birth disorder in which a spine does not form properly. Lentils are also high in fiber which can keep your digestive system humming along and help stave off pregnancy-related constipation. Number 3. Yogurt. Your baby needs a steady supply of calcium for his growing bones, and you need it to keep yours strong and help your nerves and muscles function. Three to four servings of dairy foods can help you meet your daily calcium needs, and yogurt is one of your best bets. Cup for cup, it contains as much calcium as milk, Plus it's packed with protein, iodine and folate. The active good bacteria in yogurt can also help prevent stomach upset, as well as yeast infections, which are more common in pregnancy. But not all yogurts are created equal. Plain varieties can be a better choice than flavored ones since they are free of added sugars and easy to customize with mix INS. Number 4. Wild Salmon the fatty fish earns its rep for being one of the best foods to eat while pregnant. Coldwater fish like salmon are packed with DHA omega-3s, which are essential for a number of reasons. The body can't make them on its own, they help metabolize fat-soluble vitamins like A and E, they may help reduce the risk of prenatal and postpartum depression, and they're critical for your baby's developing eyes and brain. Salmon, too, is a good source of iodine and vitamin D. As for concerns about mercury, salmon is a safe seafood choice for pregnancy, so feel free to enjoy 8 to 12 ounces, 2 to 3 servings, a week. Number 5. Avocado. The creamy green fruit is full of folate, along with vitamin B6, which promotes healthy tissue and brain growth for baby and could help ease morning sickness for you. It's also a yummy source of healthy monounsaturated fats which help your body better absorb many of the vitamins found in fruits and veggies. Avocado's high fat content can keep you fuller longer, so you're less likely to get hit with that hungry, need-to-eat-now feeling. Number 6. Edamame. You might know that the cooked soybean pods are a tasty source of vegetarian protein, serving up 18 grams per cup shelled. But they're rich in other important pregnancy nutrients, too. A cup of edamame offers up nearly 100 mg of calcium, 3.5 mg of iron and 482 micrograms of folate. Best of all, they're easy to cook and highly versatile. Number 7. Nuts. Talk about small but mighty. Nuts are chock full of important vitamins and minerals like magnesium, zinc, potassium and vitamin E, along with protein, fiber and healthy fats. Plus, they are easily portable, making them an ideal on-the-go pregnancy snack. Are certain types better than others? All nuts have their own unique nutritional profiles, and they can all fit into a healthy pregnancy diet. 
but some might be especially worth reaching for. Walnuts are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, while almonds deliver a welcome dose of calcium. And peanuts. They are loaded with folate. Number 8. Carrots. Their bright orange color means that carrots are crammed with beta-carotene, which the body converts to vitamin A. And that nutrient is critical for your baby's developing eyes, skin, and organs. In addition to munching on the go, try shredding carrots and folding them into pancakes, muffins, or quick bread batters. Or steam and mash them with a little bit of butter and cinnamon, just like sweet potatoes. Number 9. Red Bell Peppers. These veggies are a top source of vitamin C and A, plus fiber, to keep things moving. Another big benefit. Research has found that eating a vegetable-rich diet during pregnancy could help reduce the risk for complications like high blood pressure and preeclampsia. Number 10. Mangoes. Stomach doing flips at the thought of veggies? Good news, mangoes are another great way to get your fill of vitamins like A and C. Consuming ripe and raw mangoes during pregnancy is completely safe. However, you must be cautious of the quantity you consume. Number 11. Eggs. You probably know that eggs are an inexpensive, easy-to-cook source of protein. A single large egg delivers 6 grams. But that's not all. Eggs are one of the few food sources of vitamin D, serving up 44 IU per large one. Vitamin D plays a key role in helping build strong bones and teeth for your baby, as well as keeping your immune system in fighting form. What's more, getting enough of the nutrient may reduce the risk for gestational diabetes, preeclampsia, and low birth weight, findings suggest. They are also rich in choline, an essential nutrient for brain and nervous system development. Number 12. Kale. The leafy green is always a good choice, and it's a particularly potent pregnancy superfood. Kale serves up folate, iron, vitamin C, calcium, vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin K and fiber, all in a tasty package that can be enjoyed in a million different ways. Try swapping kale for basil in your favorite pesto recipe, tossing it with pasta, layering it on a sandwich or swirling it into scrambled eggs. Number 13. Oats. Getting the recommended 25 to 30 grams of fiber per day can help you feel fuller longer and keep uncomfortable pregnancy constipation at bay. And good news. A cup of cooked oatmeal serves more than 4 grams. More good news. That same cup also delivers more than 30% of your daily magnesium, another mineral that plays a key role helping your baby build healthy bones and teeth. Number 14. Bananas. They're a tasty source of energy when you get hit with that urge to eat something, anything, ASAP. Plus, they're easy on your stomach even when you're feeling queasy. Bananas contain vitamin B6, which is linked with lowering pregnancy nausea. Bananas are also rich in potassium, a mineral that plays a key role in promoting healthy blood pressure. They might even help you manage annoying pregnancy bloat, since potassium helps your body release puff-promoting minerals like sodium through your urine. Number 15. Sweet potatoes. A single sweet potato serves up more than 400% of the vitamin A that you need in a day. That's especially important during your first trimester, when your baby's cells are dividing at rapid speed to become different organs and body parts. While vitamin A is important during pregnancy, steer clear of supplements, since getting mega doses of the nutrient could increase the risk for birth defects. Number 16. Quinoa. If quinoa wasn't a part of your pre-pregnancy diet, it's worth adding to the menu now. The whole grain, which is technically a seed, delivers 8 grams of protein, 5 grams of fiber and nearly 3 grams of iron per cooked cup, along with small amounts of calcium, magnesium, potassium and zinc. Number 17. Low-fat milk. You know it's chock full of calcium to strengthen your baby's bones and teeth. A single glass serves up about a third of what you need in a day. But milk also delivers vitamin D, iodine and plenty of protein, around 8 grams per cup. If the idea of guzzling a glass of milk isn't all that appealing, 
there are other ways to work it into your pregnancy diet. Number 18. Dried fruits. Figs, dates, prunes and dried apricots are quick, concentrated sources of energy when you can feel your blood sugar starting to drop. And the natural sweet flavor is a better option than actual candy when your sweet tooth strikes. Even better. Dried fruit is a surprisingly valuable source of nutrients like fiber, iron, calcium, potassium, plus antioxidants. Just keep in mind that a little goes a long way, dried fruit is higher in calories than fresh, so pay attention to your portions and be sure to seek out varieties made without added sugars. While we are on the subject of the best foods to eat when pregnant, remember that there are some items that should be taken off the menu. Certain foods are more likely to harbor bacteria or chemicals that could make you sick, so you should steer clear until after giving birth. For the time being, you'll want to take a break from Unpasteurized juice Unpasteurized cheese Raw seafood Rare meat Hot dogs and deli meats Raw or undercooked eggs High mercury fish like swordfish king mackerel, orange roughy, big-eyed tuna, and tilefish from the Gulf of Mexico. Raw sprouts. Alcohol. It's normal to worry that your pregnancy diet isn't quite hitting the mark. But sticking with good-for-you foods, especially ones rich in key nutrients like folate, protein, iron, calcium, vitamin D, DHA and iodine, will help you and baby get the nourishment you both need. And if at any point during your pregnancy you're concerned that you're not getting enough of certain vitamins or minerals, talk with your practitioner. Together, you can determine where you might be falling short and how to fill the gaps. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found it helpful or entertaining, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more contents like this. And until then, take care. Bye-bye.